What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jobbers and Goons. Uh, thank you guys so much for uh, recent subscribers, those who are already subscribed, those showing support in general. It's an amazing ride. We're almost to 20k soon. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed already, uh, make sure to do so. That I would appreciate it very much. Uh, so this video today, some funny shit, right? Uh, Chuck, Seth, all of them, they've made Goku Saitama videos. Um, I've made one. I've discussed with Chuck before. Like, I literally, that if y'all don't know, that's one of my best friends. Um, <clears throat> I work with him on pretty much every video he does. Uh, the only one I don't work on with him is uh, stuff he collabs on with others. So, we, me and him, and by the way, during this time when he was making his video... Um, and you guys can kind of tell by my upload, I was doing a lot of real life shit. So, I hadn't communicated with him on his stance on this. He drops his shit, my shit was dropped. Uh, we disagreed, right? I hop and call with him. I slap him up like my stepchild. Now, it was obviously a civil, uh, debate because that's my homeboy, we're not gonna get toxic. But, he admitted and realized I was right, right? He was like, you know what? Might have fucked up. You're right. I said, it's all good, bro. Like, it's just a fucking opinion on a debate. Uh, or not really a debate, just a versus battle, right? Like, it's just our takes. He thinks he was wrong and agrees with me, but I don't care if uh, we agree on it. I'm just like, yeah, I wanted to talk to you about it because we had way differing opinions. Let's see if we can kind of get there. Like, keep in mind, me and Chuck disagree on a lot of things, right? Like, Chuck thought, like, peak gore was like multiversal no nah, i'm not going for that it doesn't matter how much cocaine i do i'm not going for multiversal gore that's disrespectful to the culture right he's way above that so i'd never say some shit like that right chuck thinks shit like that but that's still my homeboy we still have discussions um i make my points he makes his kind of like you know like we go back and forth we share ideas without any problem even though we disagree the, so there shouldn't be, and the reason I'm starting with this, is there shouldn't be any issue beyond disagreeing. If you disagree with my take, cool. You just disagree. That's fine. Like, you can state your case. I stated mine. It's cool. If I want to go back and forth with you, I can. That's my option because you're trying to initiate a conversation, right? And it's like... I don't, I don't get why people in the comment section specifically, I um, mean, you guys can obviously let me know in the comments down below your thoughts on this, because uh, I'm kind of talking about the community in general with this one. I'm not obligated to respond to everybody. I'm really not. And that's not how life works, right? Like, you aren't owed a response. You aren't owed an explanation. You aren't owed an answer from everybody. You're just not. You kind of just hope they reply to you. Hope they respond. Hope you get lucky that someone wants to fuck with you that day. All right? Like, that's it is what it is. I accept that. I've been accepted that for a long time. You know, like, I had reached out to Comics Explained way back in the day. And before you say, oh, why'd you reach out to Comics Explained? Because he's the fucking goat of our community, dog. Like, that dude's biggest shit in terms of subscriber and views. He's inter interviewed some of the most, like, uh, current up-to-date influential people on the culture like he's that guy he's fucking awesome like I, I think he he's a dope dude he seems like he's amazing let me by the way in terms of like comic books who do y'all think is like the goat of um comic books like i'm talking about the big dog so they gotta be like a million or two plus um so there's death battle Comics explain, comic story, and like they have to be over a million plus. Okay, I'm talking about the big dogs. Who do you think's the best among them? To me, always thought comics explain seems super cool, uh, amazing content. All right, so I had reached out to him. Point is, no one got back to me, even though his people knew who I was and talked to him. He never got back to me. Do I care? Is that like something I hold against them? Would I go to his comment section and just bomb him for it? No, hell no. Why? He's probably busy as shit. I'm busy as shit. Life happens. Nobody owes you a response or explanation, right? So I hate I hate when people go on rants like, bro, 
you won't even respond to me like this i get a lot of comments like some videos have like 900 to a thousand comments alone okay so so yeah the notifications go crazy so i'm not gonna respond to everybody and some i just don't respond because it seems sometimes like just bait or just a hateful spiteful argument's gonna occur next the hero warship has to stop y'all like you gotta stop acting like just because a content creator says something that's facts okay because guess what your favorite scalers and your favorite content creators in this community they have said stupid shit before okay we all have i had this world of warcraft video i did years ago one of the worst scaling videos you'll probably fucking find on the internet can't find it anymore because i deleted the fuck out of it because i was so ashamed like <laughs> there is everybody's had horrible takes i think chuck thought um <laughs> chuck like thought peak silver server was like solar system you know like shit happens uh seth thinks exar coon is massively below darth maul they're like that's a cocaine take right like we all have shitty takes okay it's possible in the realm of infinite possibilities on this youtube shit that i could be wrong about saitama versus goku on my opinion that's possible and if i am i am whatever if i if i find out later on that i'm wrong to the extent i want to talk about it again i'd make a video if i was wrong but i didn't care like it just wasn't enough to move me i wouldn't make content on it be like oh i might comment on it later like um hulk vs doomsday type shit right like i've done that before where right? i'd have a take and then later on when you i'm like you know what i think i was really wrong about something let me let me switch my stance let me explain i was wrong at the time shit happens okay i could have a bad i could have a bad take just like others have bad takes doesn't mean we're like that's why you don't hero worship us because we can be wrong as fuck remember when seth said goku could beat superman chuck said the same shit wild wild guys if y'all read superman comics that's wild as shit everyone knows that and a lot of us including the goku fans and the goku scalers have come back and said you know what we fucked up we're wrong and it's cool i think it gets weird when people say just because like let, they'll pull up on me yo chuck said goku wins therefore goku wins i tell them fuck off why because just because chuck says it doesn't mean it's law just like if i say it doesn't mean it's law if you go to chuck and you say yo jobbers and goons said saitama slaps goku you're fucking wrong dude you're shitty at content delete this shit lol i'm gonna tell chuck to tell you to fuck off even though you say you're a fan of mine those kind of comments that like stupid shit just pulling up on us content creators like that it ruins the community it just it makes it not fun people don't even want to jump in the discussion anymore so stop doing that corny shit if you disagree with me just present it in a decent way i'll i'll maybe uh comment back i'll definitely heart it i always show love to people that like even if they're giving criticism it makes sense i understand where they're coming from you'll get a heart from me right like i talked to a member the other day um in my discord who flat out disagreed with me by the way i want to get y'all's take on this you know like a bonus interaction uh and especially in the live chat uh let's see what y'all say did you guys see the new god of war trailer and if so was that fictional transcendence from mimir when he interacted with the actress uh felicia let me know in the comment section down below if that's technically uh fictional transcendence or not but i argued with uh, the member but the way we did it it was just me expressing my side and anytime he disagreed he'd jump in or anytime i knew we had prior disagreed on a segment of my argument i'll just explain myself further at that segment we end up coming to an agree to disagree but completely understood where i was coming from that's how it should be right it could have gone the other way where we agree to disagree but i i kind of understand where he's coming from and kind of would say you'd lean that way in terms of arguing right but that's how it should be not the weird ass yo chuck said this so it's automatically right that's no just stop you're you're toxic that's just just cut that corny shit up all right 
we get rid of that everything is good i don't give a shit if people disagree with me okay that's fine i disagree with a lot of people as well like i said i still get along perfectly fine with them i have members in my own coffee shop inner circle that i disagree heavily with on certain topics however those are still the homies like I still hit them up i still collab with them i still promote their shit like there is absolutely no beef just because we have differing opinions okay differing opinions opinions are spices okay sometimes they fucking suck sometimes they slap right and the more we add the more flavor we got okay so we're gonna keep adding spices and running up the comments running up the conversation and dialogue right but let's do it the right way that's my point that's one of the biggest points in this video is the idiots commenting on my shit now 500 characters that beat goku let's get that out the way right because i got a bunch of comments and it was funny they were like oh you're doing this just because you dropped a goku saitama video i had someone purchase like four goku jobbing videos so during this whole goku fanboys raiding my server um that's why i had dro not dropped a server link in a while i'll drop one in this video i'll give you all a chance um but obviously if you join on some goofy shit you're just gonna get banned but uh, hopefully you join and hang out, have fun. We play games every day, all that. It's a dope server. Uh, we're almost at 600 members. Uh, definitely check it out if you're trying to have a good time. Now, and by the way, me and my mods are going to go through the band list. And if you didn't have a serious band, uh, we'll probably unban you. And uh, I added a feature called the Gulag where basically if you're annoying a mod or me or someone else, you get sent to the gulag first and then a mod will bring you back after they review your case so definitely gonna cut down on a lot of the bands i be throwing bands out like ones at the bitches in the club okay but getting back on topic right this is just to kind of remind the community to get their shit together okay like we don't have to agree on everything is cool no beef and this jobber videos i got paid for for goku i'm converting it to 500 characters who can beat but i realize that's kind of excessive and 500 just straight up looks like hate even though it's meant to be funny i thought that would be a funny ass number like it's a ridiculous number i'll do 100 right we'll start with 100 and if it pops we'll do 100 more but yeah uh i just kind of wanted to get that out the way because i've had like mad people trying to raid my server since i had dropped my video i had mad people just hating like telling me i fucking suck i should stop scaling i fell off first of all goofy bitches i already told y'all power scaling is not my main thing anymore i don't debate anymore i don't give a fuck if you disagree with me on a debate go do some fucking push-ups okay i don't give a shit about your opinion go make some content on it pussy i may i was man enough to make content and put my shit out here you do the same thing as well little buddy like that i whoever is hating like that and has that much hate in their heart they gotta type that passionately at me translate that passion into content and hopefully you pop off and we'll finally get a platform so people give a fuck about your uh opinions okay because right now i don't you don't exist all right you're not a big dog you gotta be a big dog to bark at the big dog all right but everybody that's keeping it civil when they disagree, mad love. I'll make sure to heart the shit out of your comments. Y'all are the best. Like, literally, you make the conversation better when you bring something else to the table. You guys are, in that case, bringing a different opinion to the table, and I think that's awesome. Okay? Definitely support that. But that weird, just personal shit, keep it up elsewhere. Okay? Go send that shit elsewhere. I have no time for it. That shit's goofy. And like I said, it ruins it for others who are like, dude, we're trying to have a conversation. You're just kind of being a dick. <laughs> That's basically what the internet version of that. You know, like, yo, we're having a good time. You don't have to keep making these kind of comments. It's lame. But yeah, guys, let me know what you think in the com uh, comment section down below on the topics I talked about in this video. I'm adding this to the Goon series because y'all always ask me to, like, make Goon series based on myself. I'll kind of do that, but in this way, it'll just be, like, me talking about topics i care about uh that are kind of goonish um in nature for with this it's about fanboys but yeah there's this weird thing that people think i hate goku goku as a character i grew up with okay since i was a little kid i remember the uh, living in the fucking shitty neighborhood at all the kids would gather together at someone's house and they'd plug in on the vhs dragon ball okay i grew up with that shit I don't hate any fictional character, 
I'm past that. I don't like the fan bases sometimes. And when I say the fan bases, I'm obviously referring to the extremists um, that go to the lengths to like raid servers and shit. Like those people are beyond corny. So I don't like certain segments of fan bases for characters. But characters personally, I don't have preferences on. Between Saitama and Goku as characters, I don't have a preference on it. I, I just, I'm not invested in either story. So... I genuinely don't have an opinion on them, so I don't love or hate either of them. So it's all good. Like, y'all can relax. Goku's good in my hood, but the video was purchased, my boy. He's got to take the L. And if you think it's bad, go see what I did to Silver Surfer's bum ass, all right? I've done char characters way dirtier than I've done Goku in any capacity. Thank you so much for watching. Even if you're hating, saying wild shit to me, raiding my server, I hope your life gets better. Hope your day gets better. I hope that anger leaves your heart and you vibe out. Uh, I'm trying to vibe out as well. It's just sometimes I got to drop a goon video to remind the community to relax. But thank you so much for watching. Join the Discord if you want to. Uh, we're looking to grow as well uh, and have a good time. Uh, and if you want to purchase any content, make sure to hit me up on Discord as well. Uh, my video packages can't beat deal. Three videos uh, for only 50 so definitely hit me up if you want those because I do videos here as well as on my second channel, The Coffee Shop. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy, Jobbers and Goons. I'll see y'all later. Peace.